So that's quarterback outside zone. They're playing tight. Play that again if you would, coach. Or what Georgia would call mint, right? The double four eye goofy stuff. Well, they just don't have a C-gap defender. So use the tailback to pin the mic and just run around them. You saw that one earlier in another clip. Go ahead and go to the next one, coach. Is your all line all studs? What's that? Is your all line all studs? Uh, all five of these kids were not starters two years ago. Really? Yep. All five brand new starters this year. Led the state in rushing. There's not a lot of penetration there at all. No, we were told that uh, we weren't going to win any games this year because our O line wasn't very good. I was we. Uh, Found a way to put that up on the board a couple times. Play that one again if you would, Coach. This team, big air raid school. Um, <laughs> I got to tell you a story real quick. Pause it right there. You guys will love this one. So we are in first place, and we are number one in the state when this game takes off. Okay. They are in second in a two-way tie for second. They need to beat us, but they need to beat us by 13 points. If they don't beat us and win by 13, we have the tiebreaker and we win the league. So they call us and tell our AD, hey, I just wanted to let you know that if we beat you Friday night and we score at the end of the game, it's not personal. We're just trying to make sure we get the tiebreaker on you. And my AD comes down to tell me this and he goes, I assume you know what to do with that. I said, yeah, I, I got it. So we put 13 on everybody's packet. And we said, you are so sh** that they not only assume they're going to beat you, they're going to beat you by more than 13. So they get the lead, and they're up 13. We get the ball, and we go tempo and go racing down the field. Boom, 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 boom. Throwing the ball, throwing the ball, throwing the ball. Throw a touchdown. Three minutes to play. Kick the PAT, now we're down. Six. We're good. We're going to win the league. We're going to let this go. They come out. They throw the ball. It's like a minute 20 to play. It's incomplete. I said to my DC, I said, they're trying to go back and get their 13-point lead. They want the tiebreaker back. So we go cover zero and send everybody on the next play. <laughs> Hit the quarterback. Fumbles the ball. We've got no timeouts. 58 seconds to go. We call two plays. We run out of bounds. There's 13 seconds left. We call quarterback boot and the Mike backer and the quarterback mano a mano at the three yard line quarterback runs his ass over and dives over the stripe and we kick the PA team beat them 42 41 won the league so that's what being a little bit greedy gets you right and then in the newspaper everybody's like oh you guys got lucky I said well you know it is what it is but my kids scored 14 unanswered points in 68 seconds so if you want to call that luck, I guess that's luck, but I call that finishing the fight. Yes? Yeah. Finish the fight. High school football, man, you just don't know. You just don't know. So these guys, this is a really good clip. Uh, play it up just, just to the point where we get started. Right there. So their jam, this is like week seven, eight, right? They've seen clips of us. Their plan was to take away power. Their head coach in D.C., good friends of mine, so I knew that, and I talked to them after the game. They did not think we could run pin and pull. They told me that after the game. They said, we just assumed you could not run pin and pull with the quarterback. Okay, play it. Watch how many guys we get around the horn here. Is that a guard downfield? Oh, they're all wing back, tight end, guard. Just everybody around there. That was an ad. We had not run quarterback pin and pull before this year. That was a big ad this offseason. Um, when you see outside zone gas, we're running outside zone, but we're pulling a guard. So we figured out tendency-wise where they're at, and we're just pulling an extra guy. That's his junior year. Go ahead, go to the next one. That's just the end zone clip of the same one. This is just power off tackle. Look how many guys we're getting through the hole. Just maul them. Just maul them. This is unbalanced, so this is the tight end out here as a split end. You see him cutting back into the A-gap? We told them, 
you have, that's one big thing we got from North Dakota State too. You have to run it A gap to A gap. You cannot cut it to the B. When we stopped cutting it to the B, it became a dynamic play for us. Run it like inside zone, A gap to A gap. Don't bounce it. Power is not made to bounce. When you see arc, that means the tight end's going to the D gap. Wrap means we're bringing that extra wing back around to lead block. Coach, when I see an arc, do you like tag on to this uh, quarterback run piece? Like uh, arc, or like you said, it's, you said before you did about 90%, but I don't see a lot there. <coughs> yeah, I had my OC filter it mainly for plays that don't have an RPO on it, okay. since this thing was quarterback run based. So I tried to make sure that the throws aren't in there. So were you, were you doing RPOs, are you calling like those, uh, like those Kansas State college climb pop pass kind yep. of stuff? That's yep. like send the tight end down the field. Pops, the flats, bubbles if we can get to it. Arrow routes from tight ends. You're more horizontal than the vertical. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because almost everybody's gonna cap our tight ends with their safeties. Okay. I was thinking of that Tim Tebow jump pass. Mm -hmm. like that, right? You see most of these cover four stuff, right? Um, most everybody starts us in some sort of two shell. Yeah. Um, we don't get a lot of one. High. We'll get a lot of man. People play a lot of man on us. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, they'll, they'll go straight zero on us. It doesn't present like zero because people in Idaho don't like that. They, they like to make it look like quarters and then play it as off man. 